I'm sorry that I did not stick around long enough last night with the New Year's coverage and we could have seen something else that might have been really cool. Some cops got attacked last night. There were some, some cops attacked during the New Year's Eve celebration. I guess it was already New Year's Day when it happened. It happened after uh, the ball dropped. Alleged Islamic extremist in machete attack on NYPD cops asked family to repent to Allah in a disturbing manifesto. Do we have, do we have video of the attack? Or is this the aftermath? So crazy. Nash, good evening. Guy comment, did I say good evening to your lovely face? This is the scene in New York last night that we missed out on. Nineteen-year-old alleged Islamic extremist suspected of attacking NYPD cops with a machete on New Year's Eve pinned a disturbing manifesto that urged his family to please repent to Allah and accept Islam. Police sources told the Post. I remember, you, you can't always trust the cops. Trevor Bickford, a main resident who arrived in the Big Apple just days before the attack, carried the handwritten note in his backpack along with a collection of religious material and $200 while staying at the Bowery Mission in Manhattan. My family, specifically mother, I'm sorry for not having been a good enough son, the note read. Uh, I fear greatly that you will not repent to Allah, and therefore I hold hope in my heart that a piece of you believes so that you may be taken out to the hellfire. What? That didn't make any sense to me. My brother Travis, of anyone I've known who I have felt in, is closest to faith, it's you. Of anyone I've ever wanted to accept Islam with me, it's you. Please repent to Allah and accept Islam. I fear for you. So that is Trevor Bickford. He is 19 years old. He came from Maine, was shot in the shoulder after attacking cops with a machete. Taken away, I assume he's handcuffed. Addressing his other brother, who sources said is in the Marines, the suspect allegedly wrote, To Devin, there was a time when we were close, but that time has passed. You have joined the ranks of my enemy, and for that, I can give you no kind words. Return to Allah. Bickford of Wells, Maine, is believed to have found religion in recent years following the death of his father, Tom, from an overdose in, 29, or in 2018. Dean's father played a very active role in the lives of his three sons and could often be found coaching them at football and wrestling. I... <sighs> so, um... The little white boy from Maine? Converted to Islam. Went to New York and attacked some cops. Do I have this story right? He thought he was on a suicide mission. He thought he was going to suicide by cop, I assume. Because that note sounds like somebody who doesn't think he's going to live. So he wanted to martyr himself. Sources said Bigford became radicalized as recently as a month ago. Bigford's radical shift put him on the FBI radar before he hopped an Amtrak train and traveled to New York 
arriving on December 29th. Around 10 p.m. on Saturday, he allegedly attacked cops working the Times Square detail, including a rookie on his first assignment. The young cop, who was still assigned to the police academy, suffered a gash to his head. A Staten Island officer stuff, uh, suffered blunt force trauma to the head. Both were taken to Bellevue Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Bickford was shot in the shoulder and wounded during the attack. He remained hospitalized Sunday and has not yet been charged. That seemed to be a picture of the machete that he wielded. It is unclear how long Bickford had been staying at the Bowery Mission, but police sources said investigators found a sheath for the machete, a variety of other knives, and a collection of religious material. According to reports, Bickford once appeared to be a typical American teenager who played on a championship football team at Wells High School, won an art award in school for his jewelry, and made the honor roll as a freshman. That's a wild story. And that's not the only wild story I have for you tonight. I'm I'm just dumbfounded. <laughs> 